some weren't too impressed with the interview, believing the suit's actress should have kept details about their romance behind closed doors. However, others were happy to have finally been given a glimpse into their private relationship. And, speaking in her latest column, Lorraine Kelly has slammed the brunette beauty over the surprise move. I reckon Prince Harry's girlfriend has scored a spectacular own goal by invading her own privacy and adorning the front cover of Vanity Fair, while thrilling about how much they both love each other. She really can't have it both ways, she wrote in The Sun. I had a great deal of sympathy for Meghan Markle when, at the end of last year, Prince Harry was forced to ask the world's media to give her a bit of privacy and leave them both in peace. His pleas would have cut more eyes if Meghan hadn't then invited a glossy magazine into her Toronto home and happily chatted about her love life, as well as her career as one of the cast of TV show Suits. The ITV star continued Vanity Fair just doesn't do covers on actresses who aren't even playing the lead character in their TV show. The cover sport is for icons and listers, such as Angelina Jolie, Meryl Streep and Princess Diana. It must have been extremely flattering for Meghan to be courted by a publication with such kudos and influence. I hope she thinks that it has all been worth it. The photos may be gorgeous, but it's surely now impossible for Meghan and Harry to play the privacy card, because she has voluntarily spoken so openly about their relationship. Lorraine then hinted the 36-year-old was happy for the romance to be in the public eye after months of dating the royal in secret, she continued who would NT want everyone to know that one of the world's most eligible bachelors was head over heels in love with you I would NT blame her. I still think, however, she has dropped a clangor with this interview, sadly it will now be open season on both of them once again. Any further pleas from Harry to leave his girlfriend, and possible future fiancé, alone will fall on deaf ears, especially among the U.S. and European paparazzi. She is the one who has pasted a bull's eye on her bottom and enabled every snapper to claim they are justified in taking her photograph. I don't envy the increased attention she has brought on herself and I'm sure Prince Harry will be furious when it inevitably happens. She concluded her message by adding but maybe he should have told her to think twice before getting carried away by the sheer vanity of being a cover girl. Her words come after Meghan's cover of the October issue of Vanity Fair was unveiled, earlier this month. And, speaking candidly about her relationship with Prince William's brother for the first time, the Rachel Zane star explained we were very quietly dating for about six months before it became news, and I was working during that whole time, and the only thing that changed was people's perception. Nothing about me changed. I'm still the same person that I am, and I've never defined myself by my relationship. We're a couple. We're in love. I'm sure there will be a time when we will have to come forward and present ourselves and have stories to tell, but I hope what people will understand is that this is our time. This is for us. It's part of what makes it so special that it's just ours. But we're happy. Personally, I love a great love story.